Having issues with your Amazon Fire Stick control and you don't know what to do? Stay tuned. and welcome to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man and today we're going to be reprogramming, resetting or troubleshooting your Amazon Fire Stick remote control. But before we get started I do want to mention a couple of things about how you're powering your Fire Stick in the first place because it does make a difference on whether or not the remote control even needs to be reset or you're just not using it properly. Most of you Getting the Fire Stick out of the box, based on the recommendations from Amazon, you want to plug in your Fire Stick to an outlet for its power source and then obviously the Fire Stick into a new HDMI port on your television. However, you also have the option to use a USB port on your television to power the Fire Stick as well. Now, you get different outcomes depending on how you're powering it. For instance, let's go to the scenario where you have your Fire Stick plugged into your television for power. If you look at your Fire Stick, you have an HDMI port, which is, you know, basically where you want to plug in that Fire Stick to see the content coming out of that Fire Stick. And then you have your USB port that can be used with a uh, power adapter that you can plug into an outlet, or you can use it without a power adapter and plug it in directly to a USB on your television for power. Assuming that that's what you're doing is using your television for power, then your Fire Stick remote will work two different units here. It will work your television and it will work your Fire Stick. When you power the television, power off the television, your Fire Stick will power off because the source of its power is being turned off. When you power on the television, then automatically your Fire Stick will turn on because that's its power source. So at any point that your Fire Stick goes into sleep mode, kind of like it's doing in the background right now. This is the beginning stage of sleep mode. It's the photos that you see in the background. After a while, me not doing anything, it would just go in black and go full sleep mode. Then um, your Fire Stick will wake up by turning on the television because it's powering it on. It's like plugging it in all, all over again. However, if you are plugging in your Fire Stick to an outlet, even if your television is turned on and turned off by the Fire Stick remote control, the Fire Stick itself will remain in sleep mode until you wake it up and the power button will not do that because that power button is only meant to power on and off your television itself or your soundbar or whatever it is that you're using, whatever you program that remote to do. So in order to wake up the Fire Stick after you have powered on the television, you must hit the home button. Some of you may not be doing this and you might be finding yourself like the Fire Stick remote is never working and you always constantly have to reprogram it. No, you're just turning on the television but you're not really waking up the Fire Stick. So, get in the habit of powering on the TV and immediately after that hitting the home button on the remote control and that will turn on the television obviously and will wake up the Fire Stick from being in sleep mode. Again, that's if the Fire Stick is plugged in directly into an outlet. Okay, if you have your, your Fire Stick plugged in directly into your TV, the power button will take care of both issues and you don't have to worry about hitting the home button. Now that that's said, assuming that your remote control, uh, it's not working for your Fire Stick, no matter what you do, home button, no, you see your Fire Stick, but you can't move anything. It's just not working. It could be just a communication error between the, the remote control and your Fire Stick. And one of the easy fixes that you can do is that you can slide off the back of the remote, pull out the batteries, and then just pop them back in. You don't have to replace them unless it's been a while since you, you know, replaced those batteries, in which case you should take that opportunity to get two new AAA batteries and pop them in the back of it. So that way you can eliminate the batteries from being the source of the problem. Okay, so we're usually popping in the mouth, popping back in, and then waiting a few moments, hitting a few buttons just to make sure, and usually kicks on, and then you're back on the road again. Assuming that you've done that, assuming that you have replaced the batteries, put brand new batteries, and your remote control is still not working at that point, then you're going to need to reprogram the remote control onto your Fire Stick, and these are the steps that we're going to do next. Now, I am going to get out of the way real quick, just make myself a little smaller. And in order for you to do this, you're going to need to power off 
or unplug the fire stick from your power source or from your television in the sense of not the HDMI port, but the power cord on the side of the fire stick. So whatever is easy for you guys to get to. I'll show you some demonstrations here on the screen. This will be the little uh, plug that you will pull off from the side of the fire stick as you can see, or if you have it plugged into the outlet and you want to get it from there directly, you can do that. Or for those of you that have it plugged into a USB port on your television, you will look for this right here. Okay, either way you go, you want to leave the fire stick plugged into the TV itself. You're just looking for the power source. And you're going to pull that off for a minute, not even a minute, I'm sorry, for a few seconds, and then you're going to plug it back in. And then you're going to wait for the fire stick to restart. And okay, guys, so you're seeing the fire stick rebooting. We're just going to wait for it to get to the home screen. Okay, so once you see all your applications showing that, that your Fire Stick has connected to the internet and everything, like so, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the home button on the remote. You're going to press it and hold on to it. We're looking for an orange blinking light. If you don't have a light on your remote control, then just hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds and then release it. I see an orange light on my remote. So I and I'll, and I'll show you that real quick. I don't know if you can see with the light there, but there it is. You see that blinking light there? Uh, and this is one of the rubber sleeves for my remote control so I can tell them apart since I got so many going on. Let me focus. Focus, there you go. And it's still blinking. Now, usually with your original remote control, it's not going to be as complicated as doing it this way. I mean, by all means, the, the steps are still the same, but it should not take this long to find it and connect to it. Uh, once it locates it, it'll blink a couple of blue lights, and you'll see that pop up on the lower right-hand side of the screen there, remote control connected. Now I'm using my, my bedroom remote control on this Fire Stick to move it around, and that is how you reprogram your remote control to your fire stick assuming that you follow these steps and you replace the batteries you restarted your fire stick you press and held the button and you've done this two or three times and the remote control would just not connect to your fire stick your remote control may be defective if you have a 4k fire stick okay you have a year warranty with Amazon. Now, it doesn't matter if you bought it from somebody on the street. It doesn't matter if you bought it from Amazon or Best Buy or Target. Amazon will warranty it, but the warranty is based on the first time that Fire Stick was registered. Okay? Um, meaning, if you bought it from somebody in the street and they programmed that Fire Stick for you and you bought it from, from somebody out there, um, then if they got into that Fire Stick, registered their account, two months before they sold it to you then you only have 10 months left of that warranty if they if they program it for you and then send it to you the next day or the same day then you have obviously a year from the day that he registered even though he took out his account and then you put in your amazon account it that that warranty on amazon system is based on the first time that fire stick was registered to any account whatsoever it doesn't matter if accounts have changed since then if you're still within your warranty and all you have to do is call Amazon and find out, hey, am I still on the warranty? They'll see the first time you register this uh, this Fire Stick to your account or the first time it was registered, period. And they'll say, yes, you still have a month, two months, six months, whatever the case may be. You let them know, I have done everything I can do. I have, I have uh, you know, they're going to walk you through the same steps. Obviously, it's not going to work. You can humor them if you like. At the very end, they should be able to go ahead and replace that remote control for you, send you a brand new one. I suggest this is the route you take, guys, because the Fire Stick itself, a 4K, retails at $50, and the remote control for a 4K Fire Stick retails at $30. So at that point, if people are like, you know, I might as well just buy a brand new Fire Stick. You can do that if you want, because you can always use a portable device like a tablet 
or a cell phone as a remote control for your Fire Stick if you download the free remote control app from Amazon. That I am going to have a video on on the description below. So if you want to know how to program an application to use a, as a remote control for your Fire Stick, check out the description. Click on that link. It'll take you to that video. And that video will be just for that. Okay? That is pretty much it, guys. I hope that this has helped you program your Fire Stick. But before you go, please take the opportunity to subscribe to like this video and to ring that bell notification so every time I post a new video you are updated with very helpful videos on how to work your fire stick. Thanks again for watching DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man and until the next video, happy streaming.